another episode of SRB TV. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at Stargirl Season 1, Episode 7, Shiv Part 1. Previously on the show, the we team got together. Sorry. No, no, I'm sorry, beginning of the episode. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. the team got together. But no, sorry, beginning of the episode, okay. where um, the parents of. We're going to get to who they are. The parents of this very athletic woman, girl killed the coach and it's not the first time they've done it yeah and then later we find out a who they are thing. so yeah and that's on us because it's a type of thing where the signs were there but we didn't see it so you, do you want to say it who they are they are task ma uh, no, sorry sports uh, sports master and tigress yes because of course their kid's name is artemis, artemis which for those who don't know, or don't watch Young Justice, Artemis is the one that pretty much eventually becomes uh, pretty much a hero. A hero. He, she's, she, she becomes a titan. That's what, who she is. And all the signs were there, and we were dumb enough to miss it. So, with all that going on, um, she, uh, Pat was foreseen... Um, she, I forgot her name for a sec. Um... <laughs> Stargirl. Let's go Stargirl. Let's go Stargirl. Oh, she the told Stargirl to get everybody, the, all the stuff back from the people she gave them to. Yeah. Of course, they refused. They went to go with Courtney. Deal. Courtney. Uh, yes. I blanked. I apologize. That's all right. They went to go deal with it. Kind of more or less got their ass hit, asses handed. Yeah, they finally suited up. But they found, they pretty much uh, were it's like their first kind of official mission in a way together. And they got their asses handed to them. But... It looked like Pat pretty much got over it because it looked like you know they were they were able to handle themselves. Yeah, and we got also find out who the Southern gentleman is. The it's gambler. The, the gambler who apparently yeah. is extremely a uh, prodigy at probability. Yeah, that's that that's his thing. And then of course we in the episode where uh, now Ice Cold is like now we have to find out who these new heroes are. You know because they're like they're no in they're no in they're they're, they're no Justice Society. Oh, and Pat approved of the whole. Um, the cool. team, yeah. The team again. So now, after, after um, Courtney realized, hey, he was right about yeah, every your power. Yeah, he was right about you know all the warnings he gave. But now it's training montage time, or at least training time, because it's yeah. like he needs. He stated pretty much now is we have to start training them um, better, so then they can you know have a better chance against the Justice Society. Uh, so that's where we're at. Next, uh, these next couple episodes are a two-part episode. Uh, so. It's gonna be great, uh, so it, it, interesting for us. So let's dive into this. Let's get this going for Star Girl Season One, Episode Seven, Shiv, Part One. So. <laughs> So they're so used to her making stuff for them, that's why they're like... She has friends now. Though. She has friends. It's like now she's starting to have a life, you know? Oh, it's you yeah. Do it. Actually, you're not right, because you're not... I love this. The conversation would... But, but it's the same uh, thing, but it's more focused on the actual conversation. Well, killed. I like how you slayed everything yeah. to him, you know? Yeah, serious business, Mike. Please tell me you're not thinking my head of drive. Mike? No. No, just. Yeah. Or if it, what if in some weird way. It's manifesting in him? Because he's in a coma. Maybe. Like he's temporarily gaining them, and then when his father wakes up, he'll, uh, he'll, he'll no longer have them. Okay. Eww! <laughs> Sorry. We all know she's gonna become somebody. Okay. It's like, how do I hug? That's <laughs> it looked like she was like, what's this? What's this affection known as love? Love. Love. Because like, so her reaction's like, does not compute. Does, does not, not compute. compute. It's like, her reaction's like, okay, it's, I've never got a hug before. Those, yeah, he's, he's just playing along with it, you know? Well, he's so, so far he's been a good villain. Wow. Right. He does, that's what I said. I've seen him before, and he does a great job. He's like, he's, he's cool. 
no pun intended, yeah. he's cold, calculated, Jordan? and like, if you get in the way of what you want, he's, he's gonna, gonna, he's he's gonna, gonna take you out. He'll take you out. No if, ands, and buts. He took out an entire family. A great job here. I mean, he killed a kid. Right. And, the, and the rest of the, yeah, like you said, the whole family, a kid and the, the rest of the family. Wait, I'm looking at his hat. I know. It's like same lines, like from a book or something, you know. But the thing is, you see his hat. It's like a horse or like. Here you go. Thank you, my lady. Thank you, my lady. Who the fuck are you? I want to know. Justin. Henry. That's what we have. Is <laughs> he? Is that a fucking sword? Dude, what if he's like one of the knights from the round table? What if he's Arthur? Well, that that looks like a that Excalibur. looks like an Excalibur. It could be, or, or, or like we said before, like I was saying, he's one of the knights from the round table. Oh no! So no, 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 Courtney, don't be a good person. Don't be a good person. Be be evil for like five seconds. There's nobody else. Fuck, she has no, to it no. She has to if the teacher's gonna force her. Hey, partner, is it with you? No business. Remember, that's a stepmom, remember? Oh. Uh, of course. It's not. That damn stepmom's even afraid of her. You see, I was like, I nice. Considering who her father is. Oh. Do you? Do you really hope that I had a good day? The Injustice Society. Of America. Uh, Is that a closet? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I give it a five. Each member in a way. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully there's a good twist to it, hopefully. That just they She's can't probably gonna explain. Let's call it for today. We'll pick it up again tomorrow, right? Come on, man! You got the team together. You should realize you got a team the work, work together. Work right together. Team. Weren't you part of gymnastics? This was supposed to be for the team. The team, not you. I'm really sorry. Come on, you were the one got together. You should know. Next step is teamwork. Put it down. Jesus Christ! Oh, not this guy! It was his first day on the job. Henchmen don't come easy, so stop killing my men. Mother out. You had trouble asking mama. A lack of competition. There's another man pursuing her. So what did you do? I killed him. I killed him. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I killed him. <laughs> I killed him. I killed him. <laughs> Metaphorically. I was square, I love it. But actually. Why and cook and be annoying? Do you see me? With Barbara 24 7. Because I don't have a mother? No, you don't. I, I deal with it. Wow. Yeah. More than you know. Hey, I got my question answered from earlier. Damn. Courtney. Hey. Oh, oh shit. Do you mind if I sit down? Please? Yeah. I'd really love to go to dance, so I think I'll have to say she and I can hang out with some others. Oh god, no. No, no. Like for sale? I, I, I feel sorry for the people who put this together and go, What the hell happened here? 
point. Guys, it's okay, it a nice setup for like a small town high school. Especially with Star Girl, it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, um, a good episode. We got more on pretty much the, the evil one that we pretty much know and hate. <laughs> it turns out she just wants to be wanted. She just wants to be a part of something. And it's like, she's being for. It's like, out of all the kids, she's the only one that really knows about what their parents are really up to. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. Cause that's why she's like, why don't we bring in the rest of the kids? You know, even I like it, the, the Injustice Society where it's like, why don't we bring our kids in? It's like, no, we're trying, we promise to get them out of this. And it seems like, again, uh, the other guy, he, the doctor did, did, is the only one that lets his, knows, because he created his daughter, it sounds like, it sounded like, you know, the ex experiments or something like that. But it's pretty cool. Cause now it's like, it seems like, now we understand why it was named this episode. These next two episodes were called Ship. You know, it sounds like because of her. And I love how the weapons come out like Wolverine like. It's like she. Yeah, so, you know? so we do find out that she was experimented on for all of her life. So she has like healing factor. She has like the blades. blades. And yeah, it looks like the fighting ability as well. Of course. I mean. You know, um, and we finally got his involvement, Mr. Butch. We finally titled him Justin Knight. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, that's what we're calling him for now. So he seems to be of a different time. It feels time. like it, and it feels like pretty much he used to be a he used to be a part of the society. Because you remember when he, they showed the banners, they didn't show. They, they, it sounds like they only showed the ones that died. So maybe he was he was a part of it, but he stepped away during the time because mm -hmm. he recognized him by Stripesy. So it's, it sounds like now he knows. Okay. Some form of ju the Justice Society is here. Uh, another interesting aspect is that we actually died, to, you know, surprising development, died more about past relationship with his son. Oh, yes, yes. That was, a, I like that, where it's like we finally see his point of view, where it's like he feels like he's being left out. It's like, I understand, uh, you know, you're trying to connect with him, but he's still my dad. You know, yeah. thing. it's like, I still, it's like, I, which I like, you know, you know and I, I really hope that Courtney brings that up to Pat going, we, you need to talk to your son, you know. Yeah. Thing, you know. Of course, another thing is Courtney. Of course, needs to learn how to work as a team, because yeah. stuff like this happens where she. Gets Which, like out. I said, a part of any type of superhero series or films, they have to learn their lesson. You know, whether it, you know, and especially through the hard way. And this is the hard way where it's like you just got your ass handed by somebody you didn't even know of, somebody that you just somebody new that you just messed with, and. Again, you work as a team to try to take down the threat, and hey, you got your ass handed by. You know, I like to see. I do like to see where she when she's like, oh no, but all of a sudden she sees her face and going, oh no, <laughs> like oh shit, this isn't good. You know, it's like you have to be prepared. And it's interesting how there's now a love interest of sorts with Courtney and Ice Cold's son. Yeah, which it's gonna be interesting how that may develop uh, over time. Oh yeah, things are developed like. With brain with brainwave sun's abilities, which I thought I like that there you have where it's like it feels like his his abilities are being passed down to him in a way where by the time the actual brainwave wakes up, he'll no longer probably. And, now, have, now, and we also know now that why it's taking so long for him to get them because they need brainwave's abilities to make the machine fully to fully work, work and, and 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 they don't know as of right now that his abilities is so slowly forming. It's just that you know. Um, this chica is supposed to be, you know, she's forced. She was forced to fall in love with him in a way to yeah. try to, you know, see if his powers are developing and things like that. I mean, she she doesn't see it, but they are, you know. It's just they they just don't haven't taken notice yet. But this is an interesting part one. 
I, I like where this is going. It sounds like uh, shit. Oh, we did get the name of the new fiddler's son, Isaac. Isaac. So we gotta remember. So if Isaac comes up in this episode, or in the, uh, one of the kids names Isaac, we know. Okay, he's 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 the son. You know. So we gotta keep an eye out for that. Definitely remember Isaac. Uh, oh, let's talk about the relationship uh, the girl has with her stepmom. Oh my goodness. God, it's like, it's like it feels like a stepmom. Is this more of like? It's like as you wish. Yes. Okay. We'll do this. You know. It's like. And, you know, it's like the father's like, you know, listen to your stepmom, you know, or listen, you know, it's like, you know, you know, follow the rules I gave her. It is kind of sad how Courtney is the one who tips, it, make, makes it the tipping point for the, the girl. You know what, and I like that, because it's like, for any type of villain, there's always that tipping point, whether it's something, a love they lost, or being denied, or not being a part of anything, or, yeah. it's what, it's what, that, that's what it usually, it comes down to it sometimes. Um, and I, I really do like that. Uh, I hate it, but I like it at the same time because it's developing the psychology of uh, of her villainy ways at some point in the future. You know, so but this is only part one, so it sounds like we're getting more. Uh, it sounds like we're getting more. Well, considering how we ended it with um, with Justin Knight saving Courtney at the last second. Yeah, exactly. Um, and realizing that St Stripesy is there. So. And at the same time, it's like freaking Pat's got to understand that. You know, it's like you have to be careful with identities, and like you said, you know, if she is think, smart. Okay, let's be honest. I go back to the, my favorite part of the Green Lantern movie, mm -hmm. where she bellows at uh, his love interest in the movie. He's like, I, dude, how I know it's you. That 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 that, that those uh, those the, the jawline. The, 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 if they pull that here, I don't mind. I honestly don't mind because it's like really obvious it's Courtney or like. It's really obvious, like, th that aspect. The curly like, hair and everything, you know? Like the curly nice. hair, how she speaks, clearly it's Courtney. So, which means she, she may have to start maybe changing up her hairstyle or putting something on, something to Or like they do in The Boys, where, like, yeah. you know, Starlight has her hair out, but then when she's, like, in civilian, her hair's it's shorter, straight, it's, it's tied it's, up. It's tied up, it's also straight hair and stuff Man, like that. Yeah, because the hair she's wearing is like a wig. We find yeah, exactly. So, too, who knows? We'll, we'll have to see, but this is only part one, and now it's time to go... It's time to dive into part two, you know. So other than, yeah, of course. Next so, week. <laughs> other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like this just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about HBO Max slash CW original series, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this, uh, well, just let us know what you guys thought of this episode. When you watched it, I mean, what did you have fun? Did you enjoy it? Um, well, uh, have, how did you guys been liking the fighting this season? Does it improve over time, or, or I mean, not even improve? Is it still great? You know, the rest of the season, you know, without no spoilers, of course. Uh, but you know, what do you guys just take on? I guess Shiv, um, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, but then what you thought of our reaction to this episode? Uh, but most importantly, we thank you for watching. And of course, on the next episode of SRB TV, dealing with Stargirl, it'll be season two, episode eight. Season one. Episode. Season one, episode yeah, eight. Season one, episode eight, Shiv, part two. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And this has been, of course, a very just the night filled episode of SRB TV. See ya later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions, or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. If you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.